Hey guys, it's Kara here and I'm back with another video. Today I'll be redrawing the first drawing I did on the Tab S6. About four months ago on Artflow and this drawing I did it um, while the tablet was in stores. I just went into Best Buy and I started drawing. I didn't get the actual tablet until like four months later which was like a couple weeks ago. So I mean redrawing it. I did the drawing in Artflow and I recorded the whole thing on my phone. So that part is going to be in real time for those of you guys want to see like the drawing aspect. I'm going to be going back and forth between like that drawing and this and talking about how I improve and so forth. It was like the first time in a long time where I tried to draw in a new drawing app. So Artflow was different for me, but I'm happy that they had it installed at the Best Buy that I was trying this at. But for now, I actually own the tablet and so I've been testing it a lot. Yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this. And just quickly to introduce myself for those of you guys who don't know me, my name is Carrie. I make vi I'm an artist sharing the journey through art and technology videos mostly, and I'm on my way to becoming an animator. So this is kind of what I do on the channel. I talk about um, products, I'm a big geek, and I review them and I show you guys how they work and draw them. So let's continue on with the video. And if you guys like that, make sure you subscribe down below for more. Yeah, for a lot of these comparisons to see how certain apps work. Like, the technology market for artists has expanded. We have so much options now. So, ooh, oh boy. Not sure how long that drawing took me. I was standing there at that Best Buy for a couple hours. Didn't kick me out, which was good. But I was drawing at an angle and I was recording at the same time. But this time I had it placed down on a table so I have more options. I went with like a simple anime girl because I didn't want to do anything too detailed. That would take me too long and then I would have been able to save it. But it did, me, it did do me some good that I, I don't know, that I tried something other than Autodesk Sketch book in such a long time and so we're back at it and this time I'm using the same app and the pressure works the same and I'm using this Detailer Noah's pencil I always use this pencil on all of my Android devices and it's always linked down below I made so many videos about it check out the playlist right here on the pop-up card so that way you guys can see more like I love this thing and yeah and let me quickly kind of do the sketch. I'm doing a bit in like real time and some like fast forward so that this video is not too long and also you guys can see how this works like now compared to four months later so time lapse mode and let me quickly get some of the basics down. Alright guys, I'm back and I just quickly wanted to show you guys the back of the tablet because from the front they all look the same to me like without the camera hole like I'm not even sure if this is the Tab S6. I, I don't know how the Tab S4 looks like but a lot of these look very similar. I, well, I, I think the Tab S4 has thicker bezels but overall like tablets and phones just have like a lot of the exact same design front forward and I just quickly did the face and um, I I'm, I, I don't know. I don't know what else I could have improved. I guess I'm using a better um, brush compared to before. Right now I'm using the pencil 2B. I don't know. It doesn't look as, um, as uh, scratchy. I don't know if that's the right word to describe it. Uh, but yeah. And the reason that I didn't color the hair in the original drawing because again I didn't have that much time so I made it purposely part of the design so let me quickly sketch the hair so you can see all right so this part I'm going back and forth <laughs> I'm gonna finish the hair but I realized I need to like do the chin so this time I'll be doing it in real time so that way you guys can kind of see because so that way you guys can see that this does not lag um somebody commented that on one of my videos and I don't know how they're but it doesn't lag guys maybe my camera's all the wrong settings will it I don't know if I should zoom in for this part but I'm pretty sure you guys can see well I have it facing straight upward and my lines are going nice and this is working buttery smooth 
Like I feel like it's working a lot better than the first time I actually tried it. I still don't know how to use this app to be honest. Like I wish I knew how to like flip my canvas so that way I could tell if I'm following lines of symmetry. Um, but I don't know. Um, and boom. So now let me go and time lapse and do the hair. Alright guys, we're done with the second part of her hair. We're gonna get into coloring mode. The first, let me just kind of like tie up my lines. Alright guys, so one thing I'm doing now that's a little bit different than what I used to do a couple months ago is now I'm going back and making some of the lines more thicker to give more depth instead of everything being the same size because if they're all the same size then nothing kind of stand out. Um, before I used to always like super light lines and everything to be super light, but now I'm trying to like vary up things a little bit and light things a little bit bold. Um, let me go back to the chin layer. One thing I don't like is kind of this dot thing. Sometimes it's hard to bring up with just the, with the stylus, the pen. So I'm going to go back to the chin layer and I'm going to do some varying width lines here as well. I really wish that I know some more dynamic hairstyle off the top of my head. I always do these basic anime hairstyles. I know because it's it's what I grew up watching. So it's like the type of thing that I would always draw in like class assignments and stuff. So it's what I'm used to. But I definitely want to challenge myself to draw more variety hairstyles instead of these like generic ones that I'm used to. So that's one thing I really hope for in, for in the future. Usually these lines I'll do after, but I wanted to do it like kind of like the beginning since I'm not going to be coloring the hair. It's just going to be the skin. So I need to find some ways to make the hair stand out a little bit more, especially since the bangs are very basic. And the tips for that that I learned from Bailey J, one of her older videos on how to ink is kind of just to make the lines thicker. And also in my um, art class for college is like where lines connect, kind of make it thicker to add more contrast. So I'm where mostly where lines connect, that's where I do that. Alright guys, all done touching up. Now I'm gonna go into coloring mode. So, starting now. Alright guys, I'm done putting down the base color. Alright guys, I figured out the clipping layer situation. Basically, instead of me having to erase me drawing over the line, um, I could just clip it so that way everything is... Let me just show you guys. I just push back the layer. Push it back until you kind of see this symbol. Let me do it again, but zoomed in. So first, let me just draw outside of the line right here. Wait, actually, let me unclip it first. To unclip it, I just kind of bounce it back again. And then just see, I'm just drawing outside the line right here. And if I just only want it inside the line, you just kind of just push the layer back until you see this little symbol. And boom, it works. Alright guys, I'm back. Now I'm going to be adding some highlights. I did this whole shading by using a combination of the airbrush tool, the shading airbrush tool, the spray airbrush tool. I kind of mainly stayed in that area. At the beginning, I did try um, the, let me scroll down, this flurry brush. Um, I like these brush options. I love how the pressure works. Um, but I think I love this fur. It reminds me a lot of this wispy brush that I use in Autodesk Sketchbook a lot. And now to add the eye highlight, I'm just going to make a new layer on top of this. 
I'm just gonna change the layer mode to something like lighten. Not lighten, might be too bold. Let's do soft light. I'm gonna change it to the lightest like skin color. Like a little bit lighter than this. I'll bring it up. I think it's all the way up. Oh, and I figured out the brush size. It's right here. I can't believe it. <laughs> I had to adjust the brush size. Okay, so now I'm just gonna put it on the nose bridge. Let me do with this white bristle brush. There we go. And then do it around the eyes as well. And I'm adding reflective light right here at the bottom. And now let's quickly do that eyes. Eyes, I, I did it in a sketchy style, it wasn't even white. So I'm keeping the same style for it too. And let's see what else do I need to add. Oh yeah, that's right, let me change the color of the line art to um, a lighter brown to complement it. Actually, let me change it to more of a purplish to complement the colors, like a darker version of this purple ish color to make it match more looks more like a burgundy and to do that we're just going to turn on our clipping mask on our sketch layers which is just the locking the transparency basically it's not clipping mask it's locking the transparency wrong terminology for the hair I might make it a, a much darker darker color to contrast it a little bit more For 2020, 2020. That's on 2020 vision. <laughs> Alright, let me scan it. There we go, guys. Now let me put them both side by side right here. Tell me, tell me what you guys think. How did how to improve? I, I kind of explained it like through my process and the way I color and stuff. And also this was like really rough, sketchy style. This time I refined my thing a bit more. And uh, it's not like I know how to use this program better than I did a couple months ago. This is like the second time <laughs> since I used it uh, the, the, when I was doing the first drawing. I used this app, but I feel like I should use it a lot more. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this. If you guys have any questions, comments, leave them down below. And I'll see you guys in my next one. If you guys want more Tab S6, check out this playlist right here. And subscribe for more as there will be more content on this baby. So, see you guys next time. Bye!